Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be covering the nine best free keyword research tools when you're looking to do SEO, whether it be for Google, YouTube, a blog, Amazon, anything that you want to do keyword research for. These are the nine best free keyword research tools that you can get your hands on, whether it be a free trial or just a completely free tool within itself. That's what we're going to be diving here in today's video. And without further ado, let's dive in at that number one spot. So at the number one spot, we have a KW Finder. And by the way, links will be down in the description box below. So you can follow along to all the different keyword research tools and go ahead and check them out for yourself as well. So all of them will be linked down in the description box below, some of which are affiliate links, full disclosure there. If you want to support the channel, then you could feel free to do so. So once again, at that number one spot, we have KW Finder from Mangles. Now, KW Finder is really a great tool. They do have a 10 day free trial that you can use for getting started with KW Finder. Uh, so it is a partially free tool because they do have a free trial. Although then after that free trial, of course, uh, they have a paid pricing plan, but there is a lot you can do within the free trial. You at least do get some free searches per day. And KW Finder does have some of the most accurate keyword diff difficulty scores uh, when comparing different keyword research tools. Uh, I would I, I do like KW Finder a lot personally. I found, like I said, their keyword difficulty is pretty accurate. It's nice because you can easily search by question keywords as well uh, and compare different keywords. They give you a nice long list. You can see, as you can see here, this is like what the tool looks like on the back end. Uh, you have a nice visual representation of the difficulty. Uh, you all also have you know di different levels of search volume depending on seasonality of a specific keyword uh, you can break that down by geolocation as well if, if maybe if you're searching specifically maybe you want to target just the US or maybe you want to target the UK or something like that you can also uh, sort by that as well as language um, so they do have a lot of different metrics, of course, that you can dive into, as you can see here, um, as well as the keyword difficulty scores. So if it's super green, then there you go. That's an easy keyword to do. And you'd probably want to go after something like that. Their search volumes are also fairly accurate as well. I'd say the data in KW Finder is just pretty good all uh, all around, whether it be, you know, the search volumes, the difficulties. Uh, the nice thing is just being able to pop them in there and get a quick test for certain keywords that you come up with and the different recommendations and filters that they have are also uh, pretty strong as well. Uh, depending on how you want to break things down. So yeah, KW finder is a really good option. Uh, and once again, links are down below in the description. If you want to check out any of these tools, uh, as we are going through them, uh, as you can see search volumes, you can see as things are growing historically, uh, over time, uh, as well as the local research or SERP analysis. So yeah, I would definitely give KW Finder a shot. Uh, they are pretty good setup. As you can see here, they do have paid plans, but the you can at least do the 10 day free trial if you're you know looking for a free keyword research tool. Moving in at number two, we have SEMrush. Now SEMrush is a paid tool. However, they do have a free version of the tool that you can get signed up with where you can do at least 10 searches per day. We're actually gonna take a look at the back end of SEMrush here. So the keyword that we're gonna be testing, uh, comment, well, throughout all the different keyword research tools today is going to be Poodle. So I'm sorry. Sorry if you're in the dog niche and you do poodle content, uh, you know, kind of outing some of your stuff here, but hey, poodle, it's the, so many people are in the dog niche, I figured a hey, poodle's a good example. So that's what we're going to be rolling with today. Now, so SEMrush gives you about 10, I believe, searches, whether it be in their keyword research section for free searches. Uh, as well as you can also do like competitive research if you want to take a look at domains or other keyword gaps or using their keyword magic tool. So they have a lot of different tools and site uh, SEO searches that you can do um, with their free tool. Although specifically, of course, this video is just about keyword research. So you could just use the SEMrush backend uh, for just keyword research, but they also have a lot of other metrics and tools that you can use beyond just keyword research for free uh, in their kind of like free version of the tool. So uh, yes, so as you can see here, you can break things down based on volumes, uh, trends as well. Uh, CPC competition level. Uh, personally, I like the keyword variations as well as the questions. So you can see like, hey, do poodles shed? 
hey, that's a lower KD score. So, you know, maybe that's an easier one. You can see search volumes, keyword difficulty percentages, as well as related keywords. Uh, you could see the SERP analysis is based on like what what's the content ranking on the first page. So uh, SEMrush does give you almost more, just a lot more in-depth research beyond just maybe a keyword. They could give you lots of site analytics and a lot more um, that you would expect maybe from an all-in-one like overall website SEO tool. That's what SEMrush has as far as beyond just keyword research. Uh, of course, uh, you can do a lot more with them beyond just their free like searches and the keyword research tool. But yeah, as a free tool, you do at least have access to that. So we could see like, let's check out all the different question keywords for poodles. Um, so you can check that out uh, as well. So as you can see here, you can sort things. Uh, there is a limit as to how much you can do for free each day. Uh, so as you can see here, they do have a free trial if you want to see more, but you can at least sort by, let's just say, uh, keyword difficulty. We put in poodles, so those are the hardest ones. Then we can sort by, let's just show the lower competition. So as you can see here, like, are poodles soft? Um, uh, you know, are poodle puppies hyper? Uh, things like that could be good content. You know, that's only like 30 searches. So not as high search volume as maybe other ones uh, or other keywords, but it is just an option there for uh, lower competition type stuff that you might want to go for, different question keywords. It's a good way to go. So moving into the next tool, at number three, we have Ahrefs. Now, uh, if you're a fan of Ahrefs, you can see here I am repping their t-shirt here uh, from Ahrefs. I'm a big fan of Ahrefs personally, and their free keyword generator tool is really, really solid. Um, if you're having struggle finding of course, I am link leaving links down in the description, but if you have struggle finding it naturally just from Ahrefs.com, you have to scroll all the way down to their footer uh, to get to the keyword generator uh, tool page. Of course, they also have the YouTube keyword tool, Amazon keyword tool, Bing. Um, but yeah, the key, the free keyword generator tool from Ahrefs is another great option. Uh, as you can see, this is like what the paid Ahrefs tool will give you. Uh, but if you just search anything in here, let's just stick with the poodle example, um, for today's video. So if you search like poodle, find keywords, uh, let's do United States as well. So as you can see here, you can get phrase matches for poodle. So you could see toy poodle. Uh, you have poodle mixes, Maltese poodle. So that may be a certain breed of poodle. Uh, that's lower competition. You also get search volumes and when it was last updated, when the data was updated or refreshed. Um, and this tool you could keep using. I, you know, I'm fairly certain it's unlimited uses. You just have to keep clicking, like making sure that you're not a robot. They don't want people scraping the tool, obviously, but I believe there's actually no limits to this free keyword tool. So that's what makes this tool really, you know, up at the top of the list. Of course, this list isn't really in any particular order as you're going through here. Um, or as we're walking through the different tools, you could also search by questions. So how much is a toy poodle? Uh, what is a Moyen poodle? I have no idea. I, I don't know enough about poodles, you know, other than that they're like hypoallergenic and stuff like that. And, you know, they're, they're pretty large dogs, uh, typically, but yeah. So as you can see here, you know, how much is a poodle? Uh, what is a poodle? Like all these types of poodle keywords in the keyword difficulty score could be good if you're trying to do SEO for a poodle site, right? Poodle website or a poodle dog blog or YouTube channel or anything like that. This could be good content to cover. Um, you know, specifically about poodles, right? So as you can see here, uh, yeah, Ahrefs keyword generator, free keyword generator. Uh, you know, you could keep clicking this uh, pretty endlessly. You just have to prove that you're not a robot and you can keep, you know, refreshing and getting different tools. Now, of course, uh, if you want to dig into the keyword difficulty beyond that, you would have to sign up. Ahrefs is a bit more, one of the more expensive tools, of course, but this free option is, is great for a free keyword research tool. Uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Moving in next on the list, we have keyword cheater. Now keyword cheater, uh, it's, um, you know, the no profanity version. Um, but basically it sheets out keywords. So if we type in poodle, uh, poodle, I can spell today, it will sheet out keywords. Now, as you can see here, you have poodle breeders and things like that and you can hit stop whenever you're like all right i have had enough right i've had enough 
uh, then you can stop the keyword tool from generating more keywords. Now, as you can see here, you can add positive and negative filters um, depending on how you want it to generate the, you can also add like keyword modifiers, which we'll be breaking down a little bit later. Uh, but as you can see here, like poodle and chihuahua mix. Now this doesn't give you, you know, specific, um, difficulty metrics, but it is good just for, just for throwing things out there, right? It's just a fast way to kind of do Google's autocomplete almost, uh, and just blast through things. So maybe you find something in here that catches your attention, like, huh? Poodle haircut, right? Or maybe something like Poodle Golden Retriever mix. Maybe you look into that. Maybe you could take some of these ideas uh, as modifiers and then you take the keyword cheater ideas and then you dump it into Ahrefs' keyword generator and then you could get more ideas, uh, keyword ideas from that. So that's another way you could kind of go about doing things is just to sheet out keywords here and then take them and put them into a more advanced tool that gives you the search volumes and the keyword difficulty metrics because... Uh, like I mentioned, Keyword Cheater doesn't really give you those. It's more just for getting through blasting out topics and ideas. But it is a great additional tool to have in your tool belt. Uh, that's how a lot of these different keyword tools are for when you're going about doing keyword research. It's a pretty advanced setup, and you can use all these different tools. And these are all, of course, free options. So moving in, next we have Surfer SEO. Uh, Surfer SEO has their Keyword Surfer. Now, I personally use this a lot. I really like Keyword Surfer. Uh, it kind of took over keywords everywhere once they started charging for keywords everywhere, if you're familiar with that tool. Um, I mentioned that on the channel before, uh, quite a while ago, but Surfer SEO has a free Chrome extension that you can add to Google Chrome. So as you can see here, their example is Best Coffee Grinder. So you can see you get different... Uh, keyword ideas. This is really great because it integrates right within Google. So as you're searching things naturally, even just as you go about your day, uh, you can see like the, the CPC metrics as well as the total search volume. Now, this data is not always 100% accurate. No keyword tool really is, but this free Chrome extension is a nice addition to your tool belt uh, for doing keyword research because it gives you that right there in Google. Uh, it's free to add to Chrome. Uh, as well. And you can see like, as you type things out, you get the approximate search volumes. And you know, these are a good approximate search volumes that just give you ideas as you're going about your keyword research, typing into Google, which we'll get into Google, Google, Google autocomplete as another keyword research tool, just in a second, kind of show you how you do, you can do things through Google. Uh, as well as a good tool. Um, but this gives you more additional uh, keyword ideas. You get the keyword ideas popping up in the sidebar there. Uh, you can get additional data such as like traffic, words, keywords. The word data, traffic data is not always the most accurate, um, but at least getting those additional keyword ideas, getting the different you know, search volumes depending on the uh, country and the CPCs. Really those two, just having them right there in Google is super super nice and useful, uh, as well as the keyword uh, ideas. So yeah, Surfer SEO, keyword surfer extension, definitely worth checking out as well. Now, moving along, as I had mentioned, Google's autocomplete is another great tool. Google autocomplete, you know, typing things into Google directly. I mean, ultimately, if you're trying to rank in Google uh, search, this is a great SEO method because you're getting the data straight from the horse's mouth, straight from Google. Uh, and you can easily type in modifiers and get ideas for keywords. So as you can see, this is um, also showing off like how Keyword Surfer uh, works is as you can see here, like you can see the estimated search volumes as well as the Google AdWords campaigns. But let's just say we're doing best poodle, right? So as you can see here, if you type in best poodle, here's some keywords right here, literally best poodle mixes, best poodle mix breeds, best poodle brush, best poodle shampoo, clippers, names. Uh, all of these are keywords that people are actually typing into Google because Google is like, hey, if you're typing in best poodle, then you're probably looking for these additional keywords. And so that's another great way to do things is just to type it in. You could also use additional modifiers. So if you have best poodle, you know, you could type in uh, instead, you could type in like poodle and then you see weight, poodle mixes, poodle puppies, you type in poodle versus Right, and then you've got little dot like bunch of different dog comparisons: poodle versus Yorkie, poodle versus Golden Doodle. Tons of content ideas that you can get just from typing in various modifiers, um, you know, versus keywords or best poodle. Like all these are more like product focused, but not even all of them. Best poodle names, right? So if we go to search that, 
as you can see here you can see the approximate like search volume as well but that's another good way to get keyword ideas is just to type things directly into google it's really the best free keyword research tool you don't even have to sign up for anything as well which is also nice now you can see here it's sometimes not the most accurate um, maybe if you just type in poodle names, maybe that would be better. Um, as far as the, the seed keyword, uh, showing. So as you can see here, like 1600 a month, uh, that's pretty solid. It doesn't have any CPC data, but you know, that's another just way to go about doing things. As you can see here, the spruce pets, <laughs> they rank uh, top right there for that one. So poodle names, um, another thing within Google, if you search like best poodle, or something like that. You can also scroll down into the people also ask. This is another great aspect of Google that you can use uh, for topic research and topic ideas, maybe answering some of the people also ask if it doesn't really clarify the keyword. Another thing, you can scroll down here into related searches. So you have best poodle mixes for first time owners. Uh, you also, as you can see here down at the bottom, you also have this section uh, that will also give you like additional keyword ideas, best poodle breeders, uh, best poodle mixes small, like all these different, you know, variations of the keyword just from Google's autocomplete. So that's another good keyword research tool that is completely free. Another keyword research tool within Google is Google Trends. Now, this is another one that's a little bit more outside of the box uh, as far as different trends, but this can help you when you're doing your niche research or maybe trying to go in within certain sub niches of a specific topic. So let's just stick with Poodle, right? We're going to look up Poodle. Uh, now these search phrases and search terms aren't direct as far as the overall interest like this doesn't exactly represent like search volumes uh, per se within Google Trends, but it is a good idea when you're doing overall topic research to get an idea as to maybe how popular something is. So as you can see, you know, Poodle's pretty consistent over time as far as the overall level of interest. Um, let's just say Yorkie, maybe Yorkie, let's just see the Yorkie breed. Um, you know, over time, okay, let's just see, let's do French Bulldog, right? So maybe if it's a, uh, maybe a newer dog breed, maybe it's more new. So as you can see here, French Bulldog has risen in popularity from back in like 2006 time frame uh, to like roughly about now. It's more popular than it was before. So that's sort of a way to get, you know, additional metrics and insights. You can also compare the level of interest between two. So let's just say Poodle and then Yorkie, you can compare um, the level of interest over time. So as you can see, you know, Yorkie's kind of gone down a little bit, whereas Poodle has stayed more consistent and has actually beat it out in popularity uh, as of recent years. So that's one way to kind of get ideas as far as like overall popularity of specific topics. It's more just general topic uh, research that you can do here within Google Trends. Um, but there is a ton of different ways that you can use this tool when you're compar comparing things, as well as just gauging metrics. For example, you could see like photography uh, is one niche that's kind of like fallen the wayside just because of iPhones and everything. Like not as many people are going out and buying, you know, cameras just for everyday photos. So you can see here the trend over time has gone down uh, relative over the past like 10 year period. Uh, and But it is rising a little bit just because of, you know, YouTube and different ways to create content. People do need high level cameras. Uh, you know, it's still there's still an interest there. It's just not as big as it was when it was maybe mass market. So that's another comparison you have here within Google Trends. Moving into the next tool, we have Uber Suggest from Neil Patel. So Neil Patel has Uber Suggest. I believe this tool used to be like completely free. Now it's more just like a free version that you can use. So if we're sticking with the Poodle example, as you can see here, uh, you can create a free account. Uh, they do have a few free uh, daily searches that you have available um, for the tool Uber Suggest. You can see here it's more similar and akin to like an SEM rush uh, as far as getting overall metrics for like sites and specific keyword research. So you could see here uh, how it looks like Poodle Standard, Poodle Yorkie, Poodle Mini, uh, Poodle Skirt as well, which is kind of funny. Uh, you can see the various difficulty metrics, search volumes, all the typical stuff that you could expect maybe from a more all-in-one type SEO dashboard. Like I said, Uber suggests more similar to like an SEM rush or something like that, or like how maybe a 
paid subscription to Ahrefs would be. But sticking to the free tools, you do get at least a good amount of free metrics within Uber Suggest. Moving into the next tool and final tool for today's video is Answer the Public. Now, I personally am a big fan of Answer the Public. It's actually owned by Uber Suggest now. They must have bought them out. Uh, so yeah, Answer the Public. You do get two free searches per day. Um, so that's good. You know, you at least get two free searches per day. So that's another tool that you can utilize. And here's what it looks like. So if we're sticking with the poodle example, of course, you get questions. This is a great way to see like the overall interest into uh, a specific keyword. So it works best if you just type in like a single word, like one to two words for the best results. You can sort it by country as well as language. Um, but if you take a look at here, so you can see there is like a visualization version. I personally like to just click on data. It's way easier to look at than having to like turn your head upside down to read these things. Uh, if you sort it by data, the top is the most popular. Uh, so you could always take something like this and then pop it into Google, see what comes up and, and take a look at your competition, right? So can, uh, are poodles hypoallergenic? That's a good question there. Are, are poodle uh, moths. Okay. Real <laughs> how, uh, poodle, how to pronounce poodle, uh, when poodles stop growing. So some of these are kind of like somewhat broken English cause they're more just keywords. What poodle mixes best, right? Where poodles come from, maybe the history of poodles, you know, all these different question keywords are great options and just give you, you know, more things to look into more content to create. So you could do prepositions, can poodles, uh, eat banana, can poodles eat papaya? Can poodle eat or poodle? Can poodle eat apples? Something like that, right? You've also got comparisons. So poodle versus golden doodle, doodle versus you know topics. You have poodle and so P poodle and chihuahua mix. That'd be an interesting one to see. Uh, you've also got uh, alphabetical things as well. So all these different topics and related topics as well. So you can see here like poodle skirt as like a related topic. So answer the public is another great one uh, to use. It is a little bit limited because you only get those two free searches per day, uh, at least at the moment, of course. Uh, but this is another good tool. You do get a lot of data for each of those searches. So make those searches count when you're doing your answer the public searches, but is another good way to get like question keywords. And then you can gauge things. You know, you could take these topics here, pop them into Google, pop them into Ahrefs free keyword tool, and then go from there and get additional metrics. Or, you know, you can feel free to use any of the other tools. You know, all of these different tools kind of work hand in hand. You know, you get some ideas from here, get some ideas from there, and you can use them overall for your SEO strategy when you're going about your keyword research. So guys, that is all for today's video. Those are the nine best free keyword research tools. If you found this video helpful, informative, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, links are down below in the description box below if you wanna uh, check out any of the different keyword research tools, some of which are affiliate links, of course, full disclosure there. Guys, that is all for today's video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.